What's going on, fishy friends? Rich here, Rich's Fishes, and I'm gonna show you how I went ahead and fixed my broken aquarium frame. These frames are much more important than they seem, especially on these larger tanks, like a 55 gallon and up. Basically, if your tank came with one of these braces or frames from the factory, it's required to hold the front and back panels together. Without that frame, the front and back panels want to spread apart. So what I did was I took a sheet of plexiglass. I believe this was quarter inch thick. The actual thickness really doesn't matter. Any plexiglass would work. So would other materials. Uh, I took some very precise measurements, which are going to be different for each and every aquarium. This was an older 55 gallon tank I had. You can tell its age based on the really cool uh, retro fake wood plastic trim that they used on some of these older tanks and the lovely shade of brown that they used. After cutting out the plexiglass, I test fit the piece, I grabbed a pencil and traced around what was left of the plastic frame that was still on the aquarium. And what I ended up doing was using some crazy glue. I traced out that space onto the piece I was going to use. Then I took some crazy glue and put glue anywhere that there was still plastic left on the frame. And this is going to allow me to glue it up into place and create a new tank brace that's going to hold the front and back panels together. These frames do an amazing job of holding the front and back panel together, although they really don't seem like they're doing much. It isn't until one of these braces end up cracking or breaking on you that you realize how much flex is in this glass. The pressure of the water from inside of the tank pushing against the front and the back can really cause a big spread. I think I measured an inch and a half difference uh, when this tank was full compared to when it was empty. So I glued it in place, I clamped it up, after I removed all the clamps, everything seemed good, I test fit, I pushed down on it a couple of times to make sure it didn't want to go anywhere, and this thing is holding strong. I've since filled this tank and have been using it for a number of years now. As a matter of fact, I still use this tank today and it's still holding water. Alright guys, comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll be back with more videos soon. See you later!